Welcome back. In this video, we shall learn how to set up Bootstrap using the content delivery method. To set up Bootstrap is so easy. All you need to do is head over to the Bootstrap website, which is getbootstrap.com. Click on the Get Started button. Now head over to the starter templates. And this is our starter template here. Click on Copy by the right here to copy the templates. Then head over to VS Code to paste it. Remember, before you start a website, you have to create a folder for the website on your machine. I have already created mine with the name Bootstrap Site. And in my folder here, I have an IMG subfolder for my image files, a CSS subfolder for my CSS file, and my index.html file. Now let's open this folder up in our VS Code. Head over to the VS Code, click on File, select Open Folder, and let's open our folder. As you can see right here, we have nothing currently in our index.html file, and we have nothing in our image folder, and nothing in our CSS folder. To paste the starter template we copied from the bootstrap site, that has to be done in the index.html file. Now let's paste our starter template and see what we have. With what we have here, we are set to start using bootstrap classes in our website. Before we jump into the next video, let me point out some of the things you have to ensure are always present in your boilerplate or template for bootstrap to be active. As we can see here in our templates, we are familiar with these regular HTML tags in our boilerplate. Tags like the doc type tag, the HTML tag, the head tag, the meta tags, and the body tag. To make your website a bootstrap website, you need to ensure this link right here is always present in the head tag. This is the link that links our website to the content delivery network of Bootstrap so that our website can grab and use any Bootstrap class we call. The other links are these three scripts right here before the closing body tag. Ensure they are always there. They control the Bootstrap, jQuery and min.js scripts on our website. You don't have to worry yourselves about these scripts. Just ensure they are always present. Now let's jump into the next video where we shall start talking about bootstrap classes and adding bootstrap to our website in a functional way. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.